Three, two, one, go. So teeth. So here, teeth is super easy to do in Nomad Sculpt. So I'm going to hit add, add a sphere. And this sphere is going to be our two front teeth. So here you can see our tooth sphere. We're going to take this blue sphere and we're going to shrink it like that. The orange ring and shrink it like this. It looks pretty good. And now I'm just going to take the gizmo and do mirror. So if you'll see on your scene now, you have the sphere and you have a mirror here. So I'm just going to tap on the red mirror and just rename it teeth. And this too. Why not? I'll just put teeth. So now we can use the gizmo and move the two front teeth kind of separately like this. So now you have two front teeth. You might want to squash them a little bit, depending on how much you want in the middle. You can kind of stretch them. You can move them more inward like that. So there's lots of things you can do. What I like to do is put them in their location. Stretch this out a little bit. So put them in there at that general location. And also spin using this green ring right here. Spin it like that because the teeth should be in like a semicircle. And you can make them smaller if you want, move them closer together. Just be careful if you move them too close, you don't want that. Also, another thing that I like to do, so I'm gonna validate this. What it does is it validates uh, the two teeth. They're still in the mirror. It just validates the teeth so you can use all the other tools. So now I like to take flatten. You can hit solo down here and you can flatten bottom part like that so it gives them a nice like gives the bottom part a little bit more toothy kind of look you can take move and make sure symmetry is not on and you can kind of move them as well like so you want them to be more like that which I think looks pretty good so you have a lot of leeway for the teeth so you can take these teeth, you can clone it, and now you have two more. So you can use gizmo, but they're still separate. So now you can move them into place. I usually move them over like that, and then you twist. Oops, is that the wrong way? Yeah. So then you twist them again. And maybe they're a little bit too... You can only take it off of a line. Maybe you want them a little kind of shrinky like that. You can sort of turn it if you want it on a little bit of an angle you can make them however you want really but this is just you know how easy it is to make teeth i love making teeth in nomad so now you have those you can clone those and then you can just do the same thing you can use a line it's easy a line it just this will always be the front with a line that's the only difference if you don't have a line then it's going to align like with the tooth so if you move the tooth you move the gizmo Sometimes it's easier to just have the gizmo at a set place that doesn't move. Okay, so now we have another teeth, another tooth back here. Maybe this one is just like a regular kind of toothy situation. Kind of angle it, maybe a little more in, maybe a little more turned, and maybe touching these teeth as well. So we'll do something like that. And if it, if it could be a little bit too realistic, maybe you only want um, these teeth. So maybe I'll use move and just kind of make them a little more, I don't know, cartoony or something. Whatever you want to do. Move them back a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now if you want to do bottom teeth, sometimes what I like to do is just, you can take all of these and clone, and then you can take these teeth and you can just move them down. If you want, you can flip them, but sometimes you don't even really need to flip them. You can just move them down. 
and then you can just adjust them to whatever you need like if you want to make these flat like we did the other ones pull these out a little bit more I'm just using regular move tool to kind of pull and tuck the teeth and stuff like that you can take flatten and you can flatten these out just like we did the top ones flatten those out there and I feel like this needs to be flattened too this behind there oops what's the best way to let's use clay and sub Maybe we can just clay sub this inside of the mouth back a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks a bit better. We'll just smooth this out back there. Maybe even move and just kind of push it up. Push that up a little bit. Looks great. Oh, let's give him some sharper teeth. Let's make them a little more prominent. Bring them forward and untwist them a little bit. Let's take these teeth move them up a little bit more maybe even up in the mouth a little bit more maybe we flatten them a little bit i feel like he does need another tooth back there i feel like i want to add some more teeth <sighs> I'm so I, I'm such a failure when it comes to short videos. <laughs> I really am. But it's just so much fun. Clone these. Move them towards the back. Open them up. Maybe shrink them a little bit. The lighting makes them look a little bit weird, and I'm not an orthographic, so that makes them look a little bit weird too. But the lighting is what I really notice. Let me angle them out this way. So now I'm gonna clone these and bring them down. Do you ever see those really cool 3D sculpts and you're like, how do people make these? You're gonna learn today.
What's up guys, welcome back to another Udemy course with me, Drug Free Dave, and today we're gonna sculpt Spider-Man. So I've been drawing for over 30 years and I've been doing digital art for about eight years and I've been doing 3D since only 2021. You can learn this stuff really quickly with Nomad Sculpt. So in today's class, you're going to make Spider-Man step by step from a sphere all the way to finish, rendered, image. We're going to be working in Nomad Sculpt. It works on tablets, both iPad, iPad Pro, or Android tablets, and you can create some stunning 3D models right on your tablet. So what you learn in this class is how to use basic shapes, primitive shapes, to build the structure of our character, of Spider-Man. And then we're gonna go through voxel merging and bringing things together. We're gonna group things so we can move him and pose him. Hands, we're gonna do the Spider-Man paint. So you're gonna learn all of this in class. I'm gonna walk you through everything step by step so you'll be able to follow along pretty easily as long as you have a basic understanding of Nomad Sculpt. But this is a longer class. This is a little bit more of an advanced class. So make sure that you take one of my beginners class before you jump right into this one. I had a lot of fun sculpting this character and I know you will too. So let's get started on our 3D sculpt Spider-Man. 